This fall has brought upon unusually warm temperatures, but I'm not complaining because I get to enjoy those lovely days outside, doing some cleaning, doing some garden rearranging, running errands to pick up some bulk of groceries with my kiddos, and just doing life. So join me for this vlog. Fridays are my living area cleaning and vacuuming, so I try to maintain a somewhat flexible cleaning schedule. I do like to clean certain areas of my home on certain days. It can change if I'm not home or if I feel like something else needs cleaning on that particular day. I'm not too stringent on what I clean, but this happens to be a Friday and I needed to do some tidying and some dusting and cleaning of the windows and vacuuming of this space. I like to do my living area on Fridays because we host a Sunday school class in our home on Sunday morning. So it's nice to kind of have that set. And we often have people come visit on Saturdays over the weekend. It's just nice to have a fresh living space that people can come to. And as you noticed, I picked up all those blankets and guess what? The little guy thought he needed to pull them all back out, but such is life with the little boy, right? Not every day do I do a full pickup, move things, vacuum. Today was one of those days where it was just a, more of a surface vacuum. Pick up the toys that are out in the open, but do just a basic vacuuming. And I really like our vacuum. I used to have a pull behind vacuum and it just, something happened to it. So we had to get rid of it. And then I found this Dyson and I really am enjoying this vacuum. It's incredible how much it picks up on our carpet and it made me think how much the other vacuum was missing. So good quality vacuum and paying a little bit more is sometimes worth it for the effectiveness of what it does. So also since our space is so little I decided just vacuum our whole house. I live in a 950 square foot home, as I say in many of my videos, so any surface that needs a vacuuming, I kind of just did on this day. And if I pull out the vacuum, why do just one room when it takes me 10 minutes to do the whole house, right? <music> cleaned our windows in my early fall cleaning video but the flies are still so prevalent that there's little fly spots all over the windows dust gets on the windows and I just wanted to do a good clean of this front window that gets so much light and we look out so much so I did the inside didn't make it to the outside on this particular day but it feels good to have those indoor fly guts off and then just doing a little bit of wiping down on the glass in our front entry A beautiful fall day. It is gonna be upper 80s today. There's lots of butterflies and bees and wild little things, rabbits running around outside today. We got some homemaking done inside with 
my Friday cleaning of the living space and I just took the vacuum and hauled it around with me to vacuum our little house all over the place. Every room got a good vacuuming. And now I'm outside and after I made some muffins. It's 11 already, so I haven't officially like picked up the camera to talk to you till now. But I am working on I am working on rearranging my cottage style garden. So I'm standing by our monstrosity, monstrosity of a climbing rose on this arbor here. And I have rearranged the garden that's closest to a garage here. And I'm going to work on this one a little bit right behind me. I took out all our decorative grasses. Um, just wanting to get rid of a few flowers that I was not keen on. Some overgrew each other, grew within each other. So my garden is supposed to reflect who I am, more of who our home is inside and extension to the outside. And it felt like it just got overgrown and just wasn't my personality. So I am rearranging, putting flowers that are actually the same in similar locations, getting rid of some that I really didn't like, like the orange lilies I'm not a huge fan of so I am I'm just tossing some of those and fall is a beautiful time for that because I know where everything is so I'm gonna work in the garden while the kiddos play outside for a bit and then we're gonna do some more homemaking I'm also going to share an Azure order because I get to do my Azure pickup oh, I'm gonna get to the gardening while it's still nice out because like I said it's gonna be upper 80s and it is fall so let's do some gardening <laughs> reworked my cottage gardens since we moved in. I always just keep adding to them and not removing. This was a year to take out, to rearrange, to just do a good thorough breakdown of what I really want in my garden. And like I said, these ornamental decorative grasses, they just took over. They were great to begin with as filler, but man, they just, they thrive well and they grow very happily where they live, but I wanted to take some out. So I saved some for some friends who want some ground coverage in their gardens, took some out. Same with these orange lilies. It's just a good year to rework the garden, especially when it's so warm because I get to spend some good quality time outside. <music> Okay, so I got a good amount of gardening done, worked up a nice sweat because it is quite toasty out right now. Um, those orange lily bulbs are just so steadfast. They really are just stuck in the ground and rooted deep. Not quite done getting those out um, back here by our privacy fence area. I have those I want to take out because I have some cup flowers I want to move over there that were in another part of the cottage garden. So I'm just doing a good old swap rearrange and I'm so excited with how it's turning out here this fall and stepping on plants, you know, they'll pop back up in the spring. So I'm not too worried about that. Lunch is already done. Kiddos are down for some quiet time. Um, I need to do a little bit of work on the computer and then I might have to wake the kiddos early for our Azure pickup. And then I'm actually gonna run even further and go to Aldi, I think. So today is gonna be a lot of running. Um, we have some guests coming for a couple days and I've been prepping some food. They have some different dietary needs, so I need to pick a few more things up. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be what today is. We're probably gonna even pick up an Aldi pizza for supper tonight. So I've shared this before. When the husband's gone, sometimes I don't feel like my meal plans are quite as detailed or as fresh and good as I should make them, but I think pizza is fine. You know, I've heard the cauliflower crust pizzas are good at all these, so I think I'm gonna do that. And we just need some other staples that Azure doesn't have in our local store. Might have, but very expensive and not the quality. So I'm gonna go back inside, I'll do a little computer work, figure out what else I need to do, make my meal plan for when my guests arrive, and hopefully get a little 
either more gardening done or I have some other tasks I need to do as well. So this is another task I've wanted to do. In our small food storage area, I needed to dump some of our rolled oats, this 25 pound bag that I got last Azure pickup into our food grade buckets. So I'm gonna dump the other one in here. Um, I'll have two of those and then I'm just starting to slowly collect um, long-term storage buckets. So I have like, some rice, some wheat berries in here. We use our five pound or 24 pound bucket of honey often. So that will be restocked and then we're getting like bulk syrup and I have my canned goods on this side, like all the apple butters, this is apple butter 2023, that I've been canning and preserving in our beans and other canned goods, store-bought items, noodles, things like that are all more on this side. And then you can see we have like splurges of extra specialty waters, especially when we have guests, it's fun to serve those instead of sodas. So I just needed to kind of revamp this. Our basement is very echoey right now. Um, because we've had a slow progress on the renovation. So I might as well share our basement progress while I'm down here. So there's not much that I can share. We flooded back in June, our basement, unfinished basement. So we have a 950 square foot living space up above. This is unfinished, like 500 square foot or so. Um, there was asbestos tile on the floors. That has been removed, thankfully. And so now we're waiting on drain tile. Sorry, the air is loud. Now we're waiting on the drain tile to be put in and um, some egress windows. And the drain tile, unfortunately, the company can't come till December. So it's kind of a stalled project, I guess you'd say. So we truly are living in a 950 square foot. We've stored things in our garage, so some of our extra junk, I guess, long-term storage, like clothes for the girls and Elias are in the garage. Um, actually, my husband's warehouse, since it's a um, temperature controlled space, we have some stuff at his warehouse, which I'm very grateful for that space. But yeah, the basement right now is just at a standstill. Not sure what we're gonna do in the meantime, because um, we don't really wanna start building rooms and a bathroom when they need to take cement out for drain tile and drill uh, or cut cement for egress windows. So it truly really is kind of just uh, an empty space right now. We could store some stuff in here. Yeah, like I have their little kids table down here. But right now there's really not much that we do have down here. So I guess that's a little update on our basement renovation right now as of um, middle end of September, starting of fall. So hopefully when I talk to you about the basement renovation next, we'll have some progress. shopping trip and I have a table full of stuff to put away put in the freezer put in the storage area fill the fridge so I'm gonna take care of that it's about 5 30 so I'll throw the pizza in we did pick up a cauliflower crust pizza and a thin crust one and we'll do just one of them of course I'm gonna put some stuff away and um, maybe show you some of my Aldi order um, not Aldi Azure order <laughs> Oh, 
Charles. Okay, last couple things I got before I put everything else away. I got this power pack of electrolytes for after workouts, running for my husband, stuff like that. And then a couple boxes of canning jars over there. And then if you didn't see, I got some all-purpose flour, cornmeal, jovial, einkorn flour, um, mangoes, peppers, just some bulk carrots, my bulk cheese, stuff like that. So I gotta get you turned off so I can get supper for the kids. To mention a few other things, I got some arrowroot powder, and I get mostly the Azure brand. Um, some of the raw almonds, so I'll throw those in the freezer. And yeah, the cassava flour, Jovial's einkorn flour. I get that on Amazon sometimes too. And then I wanted to try an organic enchilada sauce because I've never made it myself, but I thought this would be a good alternative because we do like enchiladas. Oh, and I got some corn tortillas too that I already put in the freezer. Enjoying some evening time outside looking at what I've done in my garden and trying to plan out what I want it to look like in the spring when everything is coming up. Enjoying the sunset and just the time and the beauty of what outside brings. enjoy coming along on this fall vlog day and I will talk with you on my next video next Thursday.